So I, I always think back to when I was selling the foreclosures and I shared an office with my business partner, Tiffany. He's awesome. Hey, Tiffany, if you're hearing this. Um, <laughs> she she was great. And we, we each carried about the same amount of files. So we were each carrying anywhere from 70 to 90 different properties at any given time in different stages of the process. But where she and I differed was how we executed on our listing. So the listing, it was time to go active on the MLS. I could have mine in within 10 minutes start mm -hmm. to finish in the MLS active done. It would take her half hour, 45 minutes to an hour in some cases. One of the biggest things that I did that's so stupid, I copied and pasted the MLS comments. Every single Fannie Mae property at that time had the same disclaimer that had to go in. She mm. would sit there and type it all oh. every time. I had a, I had a Word document. I got, here's the, here's the comments that go in the realtor with Mark. Here's the comments that are public. Do, 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 do. I just, I mean, I had that process. I had the copy and paste. I knew where all my photos were. It's just a basic organization. Um, and you may think, well, that's not a big deal. An hour, you know, maybe she saved, maybe I saved 20 minutes. Let's be nice and say it took her 30, took me 10. Okay, 20 minutes. How many listings a week did I have to do that across the next? Yep. And that's where I think most agents that aren't, uh, like, they don't have like a team structure. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know, shilling for teams. I have my opinions about teams, but I think individual agents, they, that's where they fall down is they don't mm. think about like, what is it that I do over and over and over again? It's like, yes, every transaction is different, but there are common things every single time you have to do, you yeah. know, like paperwork. Do you have a checklist? Do you know what, what forms you have? This form is required on every transaction. Why do you forget it? Because you don't have a, you don't have a, a system in place to remind you. Oh, I need this form. Um, you know, if your listings say the same thing over and over, just as simple as having a having the paragraph somewhere where you could just grab it and paste it in. But right. it might be two minutes. It's still it's it's shaving a minute off here and a minute off there makes all the difference. When your time is worth, let's say, a hundred bucks an hour, you know, saving twenty minutes that adds up. Yeah. You know, you should, that's, that's 20 minutes. You could be out prospecting for more business right. or in front of a client or whatever, or enjoying your life. Uh, it doesn't have to be about making money. It could be that's 20 minutes you could be spending with your kids or on the couch. Like I enjoy my bonus room, watching YouTube videos, whatever, you know, whatever you're, whatever floats your boat. Um, so that's where I think if agents were more, they would just be honest with themselves and say, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try to think of what I do consistently where I can shave some time off or, and this is where the honesty comes in, are there things that maybe I'm not great at doing that I could have somebody else do for me? Yeah. Like I suck at this, yes. could I pay someone to do this for me? You don't have yes, to be yes. an expert in everything in real estate. I, I have the greatest respect for agents that go, I'm horrible at my paperwork, so I pay someone to do it. Awesome. You're great at getting that client to the finish line or getting them to sign that, that contract, but maybe you're not great at writing the contract, the offer. Get somebody else to do it for you. You're not great at your you know, clear to close, contract to close process, then pay somebody to do it for you. Go out and do the thing that you're good at. You know, I've got agents where I'm like, if I could literally just have them go on listing appointments and that's all they did, <laughs> I would love it. Because be everything else is weak, but man, they can nail those listings yeah. every time. Their paperwork's a nightmare, but they can bring in listings. Yeah. Get somebody to do that for them. That's where teams can have a, a place. But I think brokerages also can look at it and say, what can I do to make your life easier? Can I take some of this operational stuff off of you so you can go out there and do what you're good at? Um, you know, it, it, some, some agents are great at prospecting. They can't close a deal to save their life. Others can't make a can't make a phone call or hate cold calling but if you put them in front of a hot prospect they'll close the deal yeah, find a place for them you know you don't have to do everything cradle to grave when you're an agent there are there are so many services out there now you could literally compartmentalize every single piece of the process and only do the three or four things that you actually enjoy